Rackwood Rue 21 DK here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. First thing I want to mention, there are a lot of options and upgrades that are not standard equipment present in this video on this RV. Uh, they may not be present on every single 21 DK we carry. This is here just for educational purposes to show you how this thing's shaped and show you the advantages of the Rue. Um, first of all, first thing we're looking at here is this is a sapphire edition. Now it's difficult to see because we're having a terribly overcast day, but this is a nice vanilla cream skin versus a common stark white skin. When I give you that quick contrast, you can see, but against the sky, it's hard to see. Sapphire Edition is a nice upgrade bundle. It's giving us the, the full you know vanilla ice cream cone skin package, the nice like milk chocolate trim, um, well skirting, pardon me, black trim, which is standard on both of those. Uh, we're looking at frameless windows. These things look awesome. Uh, there's a couple advantages here. The, the first is that, yeah, they look super sweet. Secondly, your seal is located under the window pane, so you don't uh, have to deal with the sun getting to the seal nearly as much. Um, the other part of the uh, Sapphire Edition is the aluminum wheel package so that your wheels continue to look great for years to come. Uh, this has a uh, standard little solar charging station right here. Now this is not made to run your air conditioner and your fridge off a solar panel. You need serious uh, dollars and cents invested to do that. It is made to hook up like a little trickle battery charger, however, to keep your battery topped off if you are dry camping. Now did you notice the max air covers on the roof right here? Anywhere you find a power vent fan in a Rockwood, first of all, you get the big vent fan, not the four inch plastic fan, but the big one that actually moves air. And then secondly, you get that uh, roof vent fan uh, built right onto it, standard from the factory when you do that. And that means that you're getting their reliability, their guarantees, uh, you know, more uh, a worry-free experience. Power awning and power tongue jack upgrades on these. Now, lightweights today, hybrids, you see those things are like giveaway features. Oh, we got a power tongue jack. You need to like, ask the salesperson you're talking to, can you hook up power to this thing and then push the switch? Watch how fast it moves and listen to how hard it winds. Rockwood uses better motors than their appliances so that they last longer, work better for you, because the last thing you wanna deal with when you're trying to pack up your campsite and everybody's tired in the morning is a dead awning. That will pretty much ruin your day. You're gonna call the salesman who sold you that thing, you're gonna call him everything under the sun, and then you know, you're gonna to have to deal with getting that fixed. Now construction's a big difference in a Rockwood. This is uh, six-sided laminated. What that means, most lightweight trailers, only your two sidewalls are laminated. Walk over to the sidewall of a slide out or the rear wall of other lightweights and push on them. Rockwood, it's fully laminated. It's not, uh, it's, it's not gonna wobble under you. It's not just a hung sheet of fiberglass over any kind of skeleton. It could be wood, aluminum, and there's nothing wrong with either. It's just a matter of the craftsmanship that goes into them. And unfortunately, not every manufacturer builds things for long-term use and ownership. You know, I can think in five years of two Rockwood Roos that we had on trade, um, both of which upgraded to larger units, but they didn't upgrade to different hybrids. You upgrade to a Rockwood, not from it, and that's one of the biggest things I could really say about them. Uh, and it's smart, intelligent features like this. To, to lower your bed ends, the hook is not up here. The handle is down here where it's easy to reach. So you don't have to be six foot tall like I am to get to them. Uh, I did mention the power awning. What I did not mention is the full length LED light strip that we're looking at up here. And against the high shine of this sidewall, you're gonna get lots of light on your campsite. Now this is sweet. This has a full outdoor entertainment center. It's, it's really, it's a split up outside kitchen. I guess you call it a deconstructed outside kitchen. But we have the mini fridge like an outside kitchen. We have some extra storage over here. Now over here, you have a spot for both your grill and a little outside work table, both of which are going to be included with this camper. Um, again, double check your options list. I'm pretty confident those are standards. I might have just got myself in trouble. I don't know, but moving on. Now your TV. First of all, the TV itself, the whole swing arm mounts out from inside and comes out here. So you can make it face wherever you want. Secondly, and this is important, Furion brand. What that means to you. This is an art, uh, a TV designed to be used in an RV. And I apologize if there's background noise here. We have construction going on because we are growing. I can't help that. But <clears throat> this television is designed to be shaken. It can be shaken up to three Gs. That means three times the force of gravity. That's a big deal. That's like what uh, drivers feel in cars racing around a, park, uh, uh, a racetrack. Now, this also means, Furion also means, this can be frozen solid, zero degrees Fahrenheit. It can be instantly heated up to 80 degrees as quickly as they can, and it won't fail. That is awesome, because campers are, not, are 
generally stored where it's not climate controlled. So you need that. Um, you know, easy power uh, awning here, slide outs, water heater controls, everything you need is right here in one spot. Um, the 21DK, when it first came out, uh, it meant door side kitchen. So the slide out was actually over here, but what they realized is it destroyed your awning space. They redesigned it the next year to what you see here, and it's been a best seller ever since because you only have to haul 21 feet down the road. With the two big hybrid beds though, you get a 30 foot camper at your campsite. You get a big kitchen space, deceptively large. Let's touch on that real quick here. Um, stoves, ovens, stove tops are the same size in every camper. That's standard. So if you look at how much space is behind the stove, it tells you how much bigger and deeper that kitchen and slide is. That's 18 extra inches of space back there with power outlets. So you can actually like put a, a blender, a coffee maker, that kind of stuff back there. To maximize your functioning space, Rockwood uses the glass top cover on the stove and they give you a fitted sink cover so that you get to use this whole thing. Now for just bonus storage space, you're going to be swimming in it here in Rockwood. Now look at this. Everywhere they can, they, they will use aluminum perimeters. Where they do need to use wood, it's plywood. It's not particle board. It's not OSB. They didn't put this here with the intention of you seeing it. They put this here with the intention of this camper lasting a long time. Uh, while we're looking at this sink, that's an American stone cast sink. It is American source. That's not just the name. Forest River is excellent for that. They use as many American source parts as they possibly can. Um, big pantry here in the slide out, which again, most hybrids can't match. Uh, everywhere you go, you're no more than one arm's length from a power outlet. You might ask, why is that one over here? There's no chairs there. That is there because this is a heated bunk. Standard Rockwoods are going to have heated front rear bunk mats, and these are about 50% thicker from what you find in most brands. Um, the tent material, it's not really tent, but anyway, but your soft side material here is uh, from a company that has a five-year guarantee on that. You know, it's, it's excellent. It's the, it's the stuff used by the best quality lightweights out there. Um, we have added an extra ceiling fan here to the living room. This is not always going to be present, so kind of keep that in mind. Uh, the color scheme we're looking at can vary. Like uh, this, I th this is called Willow, I think. We're looking at a ch uh, hickory finish wood with the wood tone floor. I love the look of this because it's very earthy. It's very basic. It's down to earth. I enjoy that. Your table is freestanding, so if you want to use that uh, like a picnic table outside, you can do it. It obviously does fold down into a bed space, and with a U dinette, it's a seven foot bed. Notice that none of your doors are cheap panel doors. This is all hardwood stuff designed to last longer because, again, you don't upgrade from a Rockwood. This is intended to be the last RV you ever own. I mentioned construction again. Walk up to most hybrids and do this. And then after you punch the ceiling panel out, I want you to run. Because <laughs> you will punch that ceiling panel out unless it's built like this. Um, your uh, television on that swing arm goes up there, so you have a nice out of the way TV station, but you can see it anywhere from the living room or kitchen. It's so intelligently designed. You also have a nice little hidden charging station up here, perfect little spot to keep some cell phones and whatnot charged. Rockwood pays an extra dollar or two for your stereo. Not only is this Bluetooth, DVD, which a lot of them are, but this upgraded model here with a free application you can download on any Android or iPhone, you can wirelessly sync to this and use your phone like a remote control. It's very cool and very simple to use. Um, one of the reasons I put these videos together is to kind of hit on the things that you can't easily tell. This is a larger refrigerator. Standard fridge in most hybrids is five cubic feet. If you're lucky, you get a six cubic foot fridge, which has a separate fridge and freezer. This is 17% bigger than that in a seven cubic foot fridge and freezer. When you see these little retro handles, that's the dead giveaway to tell you what size this is. That's the seven cubic foot. What that means is six more hungry man dinners of space. And that, that's a big difference. Um, this extra storage space right here, one, is a godsend in any hybrid that just generally doesn't have clothing storage space. But two, this is the closet above the outdoor refrigerator. So they don't waste an ounce of space in here. And this is that big grill that comes included with it I told you about. You can see that the grill still in the box is dwarfed by the size of this closet. So there's tons of storage space in here. Um, spinning around uh, the uh, rear bunk. Nothing too unusual to talk about we haven't already spoken on, but this is heated as well. That's a queen looking at it. Usually you get a full in the back. Um, you have a foot flush stool with double countertop space over here. Just for utility sake, they do add an extra shelf up here. Again, another one of those oversized fans. We do have a big medicine cabinet here, and that's not a fun thing to talk about. People are like, yes, yeah, so what? 
But think about it. A cheaper lightweight, a cheaper hybrid just has a mirror. Where are you going to keep all your stuff? You're going to keep it all over your countertop. And every time the kids jump in and out of the trailer, your trailer's going to rock around a little bit. Even with stabilizers down, they do tend to wiggle a bit. All that stuff's going to constantly be on the floor. And then it's the details like this. Rockwood started putting shower caddies back in here. Because these little plastic shells, the stuff just falls off them. And shampoo bottles are too big for those things. So they give you a spot to keep all that stuff. Um, you know, I haven't even talked about the running gear. This runs on torsion axles, not leaf springs. For those of you who don't know the difference, long story short, a torsion axle system immediately soaks up as much shock and jolt as it possibly can so that doesn't get translated into the walls, into the windows, into the roof. That's where leaks come from, bouncing this thing down the road over time. Uh, you know, and with a torsion axle system, you know, that's $500 more per axle invested in this Rockwood. But an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If it prevents one leak, it more than paid itself off, and it will prevent that. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.